Good afternoon, amigos, from Guanajuato, Guanajuato. Now, this is a bit of a preview, this, <laughs> of what you'll see in a few days coming up on YouTube. Uh, but in today's video, we always give you guys our perspective of Mexico, what we think, how our thoughts have changed, what we would tell other people about this country. Uh, but today's video is a bit different. Yes, that is right. We hit the streets of San Miguel de Allende to talk to foreigners and see what their perspective is perspective of Mexico is. Let's do this. We have our first victim, I mean volunteer. <laughs> Where are you from originally? Uh, Arizona. Arizona, okay. Yep. And have you visited Mexico before? Yeah, okay. yeah mostly Rocky Point and okay. Tijuana and yeah, okay. everything close to close Arizona. To the border. Yeah, okay. yeah. And what are your first impressions of San Miguel de Allende? Uh, super beautiful. I mean, it's a really, and I, I've spent some time in Argentina and Europe, okay. oh, well. so it reminds me a lot of Argentina and Europe. Okay, so and always. what are your overall perceptions or perspective of Mexico and the Mexican people in general? Mm. Uh, I grew up with a lot of friends who are Mexican, so I'm probably crossing that with, with people also, the interactions that we've uh -huh. had here. So, um, really friendly, obviously, very hospitable very family minded uh -huh. so I've lived in California the last couple of years so uh, <laughs> it's uh, uh, much more uh, open I think than, uh -huh. uh, than Californians typically attend right. well. but uh, yeah so three year old over here yeah, <laughs> he's, okay. he's, he's okay, what is your favorite thing about Mexico mm. I think I love just the family uh, how family oriented uh -huh. this year like you walk in the plaza and you always see families out here okay which is very relaxing having a lot of fun uh -huh. just enjoying time being together and where do you live sorry that was question I live in, Lo I live in Long Beach California Long Beach wow. California so um, what is your favorite place you've ever visited in Mexico San Miguel de Allende oh, oh wow favorite. that's awesome Her yes. favorite place yes my favorite place this is my fourth visit wow uh, and I absolutely love it wow what's your favorite thing about San Miguel de Allende um, I think the tranquility. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually love just kind of sit, you can just sit in the plaza and mm -hmm. go to a coffee shop. We've been walking around, uh -huh. just walking into like little shops. Right. I've never had a bad meal here ever. Yeah, that's awesome. That's our kind of girl. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say um, is the general overall feeling um, in terms of your expectations about central Mexico and maybe the Mexican people? Oh, it's beautiful. Like, it's. I love it here. I mean, I think that I want I want to bring my boyfriend here. I mean, I want everyone to see this place. Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, I was taking pictures on the way here, and they're like, "You're not in Mexico," and I'm like, "Yes, I'm in Mexico." Yeah, exactly. That's all. And what is your favorite Mexican food? Ooh, enchiladas. Enchiladas. You Green can't enchiladas. Go wrong with that. Oh, very nice. Uh, Having gone to Cancun, some of the more resorty expectations. What do you think of San Miguel and cent Central Mexico after going going there? Uh, well, it's gorgeous. You know, the temperature is great. Yeah. The weather, so it's like 78, 80 exactly. today. Uh, the architecture is incredible. Cobblestone streets, uh, beautiful buildings, you know, the wood doors, just all the different colors. Um, so people are great, very friendly. Yeah. It's kind of cool to not be as touristy. Yeah. You know, meeting a lot more locals. Uh, your uh, gringos around less than I expected. That's you interesting. Know, That's a good point. Because I have heard that San Miguel is like 10% you know, expats. Right. But maybe, I know they're out here. I haven't seen them that much. You know, we're <laughs> yeah. still trying to figure Just out us. <laughs> yeah, where they all hang out. You told us that you guys are planning on living here, moving here in October. What was the factor that, that was, this is it, we're moving here? You know, I think, well, you know, we were burned out on the uh, U.S. Just, uh, you know, it's kind of a bit of a grind. You know, I kind of felt like uh, for me it was get up, you know, commute. Dallas is kind of a commuting city. Exactly. And uh, traffic has gotten a little bit worse there. And I've been in the same job for 10 years. Okay. You know, great place, but kind of doing the same thing over and over, very okay. monotonous in an office. Kind of felt trapped, you know, and then commute, and go home, take care of the dogs and just exhausted and so yeah. at first it was like retiring early right you know being a possibility and so we started looking at mexico and uh -huh. realized it was doable turned 51 today actually <laughs> happy birthday so we're here for vacation checking it out and uh yeah we're pretty sure we're gonna do it that's awesome you know in san miguel it's a beautiful place to start yeah exactly what would you say to your friends back home to your your fellow dallasites that think you're crazy for coming here visiting here much less moving here what would you say to them about mexico and your experiences traveling here thus far 
So far, it's uh, very safe. You know, I, we knew that because we have studied it pretty mm -hmm. extensively. But man, that's been confirmed in the time we were here. We were just had a conversation earlier. Michelle asked if I felt unsafe at all since we've been here. Right. And I asked her the same thing. We've been here two or three days on this trip, but no, you know, I haven't felt unsafe at all. So last question and the most important, what is your favorite Mexican food? We just had the gorditas at, oh, uh, yeah. nice. at the public market. Yeah. Okay. Know, stuffed with uh, chicken and potatoes or beef and potatoes. Well, I think if you're exploring the markets, you're gonna fit in in Mexico. Yeah. Yeah. I think so well too. Already. Yeah. I love the culture here. I love the people. You know, it's really it's yeah. the most fun, fun part about it. So. That's awesome. I think that's all we have. Jonas, how old are you? Six. Six years old. What is your favorite thing about this city, San Miguel de Allende, that you're in right now? Um, that there's a lot of parks. A lot of uh -huh. parks. That's one of our favorite things. What would you tell your, your friends at school about Mexico that have never been? Uh, that a, lot of a lot of houses here. Oh, okay. There you go. There are indeed a lot of houses. Thank you so much. Hopefully those different viewpoints give you an idea of what foreigners that are coming to Mexico think of Mexico. And we realize that we're only, our sample size is, is biased, right? These are people that are already here right. in San Miguel de Allende. So uh, it's a little different, but I do think it's important to note, I think sometimes uh, it may be construed that all foreigners or all gringos just don't like Mexico or have an extreme fear of Mexico. And while there are those people, there are also a lot of Greg and Hillary's out there. There and are? <laughs> oh. <laughs> and other people that that have seen the beauty of Mexico and truly, truly love it. So we think this is a, a very important message to share. Now, as if you're new around here, as for our viewpoints of Mexico, our thoughts of Mexico. Yeah, I think I actually agree with a lot of the people we talked to in this video. I think uh, the magic of Mexico, there's some sort of like pureness and innocence. And I think that's kept with the old culture and traditions of this country. Um, that it makes truly each place just very, very magical to me. It is, it's, it's a very rich country in, in many, many ways. I'll let you unpack exactly what that could possibly mean, but uh, I'm still wearing my, uh, <laughs> my national team jersey, so that, that alone... Can't let it go. Yes, that should tell you how I feel about Mexico. We absolutely love this country and, and owe everything to it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. Click the bell. That way you can notify <laughs> every time we upload a new video and we will see you tomorrow from, from maybe, maybe the state of Guanajuato. Oh! <laughs>